All right, guys, let's get updated on the Vaz Raider. Man, I'm pretty much done. All I got to do now is just add the pedestal. But without further ado, here you go. This is how she's looking right now. Um, let's jump into it, man. I'm going to give you guys a whole rundown of everything that I've done so far to this boat. The biggest thing you see at the 3.5 Mercury four-stroke. Um, these things are supposed to be like the move for, for a small boat like this. So <clears throat> got this boat. Um, as soon as I got this motor in, um, I actually ordered the, the five horsepower carb. So she's in there now. Uh, obviously you can't tell by just looking at it, but believe me, <laughs> the five horsepower carb is in there. Uh, so, you know, apparently that makes the boat, you know, I mean the engine, I'm sorry, run a little bit better. Um, huge deal huge deal right here is this transom mount with that motor right there this transom mount is necessary like super necessary so what i did with the transom mount right <clears throat> let's break it down um i took this metal bracket that's down here i took that off of the boat okay um i put holes in the top of it and i bolted through uh, up to up through this transom mount. So you're strapped in right here, right? Um, so when the motor wants to pull pull back that way uh, When you know when it's when it's uh, under pressure on the water uh, You're gonna be bolted in so th anything that pulls where these clamps are anything that pushes right here uh, Is gonna be pushed on on the support also now, where it gets interesting is since it's pushing on the on the support uh, over here, where the handles used to be at on the Bass Raider, I took those handles off. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not going to use them anyways. Um, and I bolted through, you know, with the spacer on both sides, rubber washers and a spacer. Um, I bolted through um, this wood uh, right here, and um, I, I sized it so that it runs right along this 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 groove right here a little bit of gap right there but not a big deal so any pulling that happens and obviously you know it's screwed that top plate into uh this bottom piece um so any pulling that's going on even if it's like down pressure pulling it's going to either brace right here it's going to be supported by these two bolts that are tied into the actual bolt itself and it's going to be braced and supported with these bolts that are tied into the metal transom. That's going to be a ton more sturdy uh, for this for this motor. So that's a huge deal. Um, <laughs> another huge deal. The scuffer, baby. You got to have the scuffer. Scuffer is going to make a huge difference. Uh, you know, for if you get some water in the boat, uh, you're <laughs> ultimately going to wish you had it. So it's worth it. Just throw it in there. Uh, there's plenty of videos online. Um, you know, if you guys uh, request it, then, you know, maybe I can make some more technical videos of each mod. Um, but yeah, the scuffer, huge deal. Up here, on both sides, I put these straps to hold down the rods because I put rod holders up here. We'll get to that in a minute. But on both sides, these straps. So the rods are sitting here. Get my rod situated just like over there. As you see, rods are over there. Um, I can take this and, uh, you know, without being, you know, awkwardly handed, <laughs> I can, uh, you know, strap these down. Um, so that's dope. Grizzly coolers. I keep on saying it. I can't say it enough. Get you a grizzly cooler. These things are dope. Get you a JBL clip just because who doesn't want tunes by their own water, but definitely get the cooler. They're super dope. I got my whistle in the cooler, all that kind of stuff. Easy access coffee mug and you know if i'm going out i was <laughs> acting like you know I, I was actually gonna go out but it's like super cold here so that's not happening but battery box right i didn't go with the fancy battery box a lot of people got those fancy battery boxes and those are cool and everything like that i just don't need it it's overkill they're like 50 60 bucks i'm not doing that uh, give me <laughs> the regular battery box i'm good uh, all I'm running off of that is my trolling motor. Um, and here's what I did to wire that up. Let's move this out the way. So the batteries ran, uh, you know, under some electrical tape. Uh, and I got a quick connect on mine, as you see. 
Uh, so, you know, I can quickly connect it, <laughs> but it's running up to uh, where the, um, you know, where the little outlet was that comes in the Bass Raider, which runs up front, and we'll get to that in a little while, too. Um, so that's the battery setup. I didn't want to have the battery back here because it was going to be too, I, I, I would not, well, I, I don't know, but I would think it would be too much weight with the motor, battery, everything, you know, all the weight sitting back there. You want a little bit of balance. You do want more weight back there, but you do want a little bit of balance. And I'm not really a small dude, so I figured I'd just put it where I'm sitting and that should make it a little bit better. Uh, we'll see <laughs> once it warms up. Uh, this is where I'll be keeping my phone. Got a little Pelican case with a charger in it. Uh, you know, basic stuff. Uh, tackle over there. Cool stuff. Um, like I said, music, coffee, all the necessities. <laughs> uh, let's come over here. We got, um, you know, I did the carpet all on um, three quarter inch plywood. Uh, sealed it with um, some polyurethane, uh, you know, over and over and over again. Uh, it's really important for that wood to be sealed up. So um, I put my, my, I mounted my um, my little holder for my for my pliers right here with strap on to them. So that's pretty dope. Easy access for that. Um, rod holders over here also, as you saw not too long ago. Uh, rod holders right here. So you can do the same thing on both sides. I mean, that's six rod holders right there. The deck. Uh, the deck is uh, the same thing. Uh, Three-quarter inch plywood sealed, over sealed, over sealed, over sealed. <clears throat> um, do some little cheapo uh, rod holders. They work good. They're actually pretty nice. But by Ozark Trail, Walmart, I think they were like eight bucks, something crazy like that. Here's my pedestal seat. I'm still waiting for my um my uh my my seat my rod to uh to you know mount that right here. See to essentially like sit right around there. So that should be good, especially when I'm up here trolling with the troll king, baby. These things are dope. Um, you know, essentially you can just you you push forward in the. <laughs> I got some bags down here the Christmas tree, but uh, yeah, you push forward, it turns, push back, turns the other way, power control button, or constant on switch, super dope, battery runs through that, comes up front, runs through this via that white wire, through this to that black and red wire to the, um, you know, the trolling motor, uh, pretty self-explanatory. Um, you do got to watch a video on how to install it because you got to make sure all this stuff is correctly done, the rod and everything like that, but it's not hard at all. Um, Minn Kota, Indoor Max, 55 pound thrust. I can't say enough about the trolling motor. It's super dope. Um, you know, variable speed. So you got percentages and not just like numbers for reverse, all that stuff. Um, really nice trolling motor. I did a hatch up here. That's super dope. I'll keep my um my uh anchor up here. There's my paddle, the other side of my paddle. And eventually what I'll have, if I do a fish finder, I'll have the 12 volt set up over there and run the fish finder up front somewhere. So we'll figure all that stuff out as time goes. Uh, let's see what else we got. Light vest, all that you know, good stuff underneath of there. Got my uh fish stringer and uh metal net thing or whatever you want to call it but uh, what i'll probably do is um you know put a cleat right here uh probably like a collapsible cleat or something like that so i can take this and i can just uh you know take that and just hang that essentially onto that cleat off the side of the boat it's in the water you know um and uh that system should be perfect because then i can get to it from my seat right here i can get to it to it from the uh, pedestal up there or if I'm standing. It's just you know, the location. Um, yeah, I mean, this is my setup. Here's the things I want you guys to like, you know, really think about. Uh, if you like to troll, sometimes I like to troll. These things are a big plus and um, they're routed. Uh, you can't really see it from there, but anyways, it comes like this round piece that this sits in I can get it out. 
that goes through the entire the entire platform. So it's super secure. Like that's not going anywhere. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, but it's set up. <laughs> but yeah, if you wanna if you wanna troll, these things are probably, I mean, your best bet for you know cheap. Uh, but yeah, I mean, they'll sit your rides out here. You can sit back there and troll and do what you got to do. And when you're done trolling, they're out of the way. You know, they're just up here in the corner. So, you know, you can then go and and, and, uh, and go some shallow water fishing or whatever. Sit up here on your pedestal and, you know, you got your foot pedal. I mean, it's all, it's all dope. Um, you know, later on down the road, like what I got planned for this boat, I'll probably do, like I said, a fish finder. Um, I'm thinking about doing some LED lighting, uh, you know, so for some nighttime or early morning fishing. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm just going to let it, <laughs> let it just kind of go with the flow. But the bulk of everything that I want to get done is done. I mean, the, 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 uh, the pedestal is not that big of a deal to install. Uh, so I'm ready to go, man. I'm ready to fish. Uh, I do want to come over here and show you guys this. This is like the uh, <laughs> the uh, ending of the video, a little surprise. The trailer is here. I went with the uh, Ultra Toe 4x8 trailer from um, Northern, to Northern Tool. This is the all aluminum one. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to rig that up for this boat uh, and make it work. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm really digging the build, man. I'm I'm so excited to use it. I've used this boat, but I didn't have it anywhere close to uh the way it is now. So uh yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um and uh yeah, I'll keep you guys posted, uh especially on the trailer because that build is coming, but I'll <laughs> I'll give you an update on the uh on the pedestal once I get that put in. Um the trailer is coming. Once the trailer's here. I mean, it's game time. Like, it's it's time to rock and roll, man. And I'll have to, you know, figure out how I'm gonna go about setting up the trailer. If I'm gonna need a, you know, a, a um, winch or not on that trailer, you know, figure out all that. Um, the good thing about it is that this hatch lets me get clear access to this trolling motor, which I can take off, lay down in the truck, lay down in the, in the boat, whatever. Um, or strap down or whatever. Um, but then I'll have, you know, more access and I, I'll have to see if the clearance is okay, but the clearance may be fine for me to run like a little eyelet right there. But, you know, all things to think about, um, all things to plan for and, and, and figure out. Um, but we made it this far, so <laughs> I don't think we're going to have any, any issues that's going to feel major. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I think this build is pretty awesome. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, let, let's let's see what you guys got on your on your, on your Bass Raiders. You know, just uh, you know, shoot me a comment. Let me know to 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 come check out yours out on your channel or or wherever you you have it at. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll check it out. But uh, this is Wes Alexander. You know, my Bass Raider. Uh, I'll get back with you guys the further I get into it. All right.